Well, as we know, Governor Greg Abbott has given the green light to gym owners and fitness studio owners, uh, telling them, hey, if you want to, you can reopen today. And so we've been asking you this morning, do you feel comfortable going to the gym? A little more than 500 of you voted. The majority of you, of course, saying no. Last hour, I talked to a gym owner who is choosing not to reopen. But joining me now is Keisha Sproles, the Senior Area Director for Lifetime. And Keisha, you guys are opening today or you're already open because it's time people are at the gym uh, so what measures are you putting in place because a lot goes into this decision it's not an easy decision to open correct yeah uh, we put a lot of measures into play you know i'll start with over the last two months we've been quite busy we have over a 400 page playbook it's an enhanced cleaning protocol playbook so our equipment is six feet apart we have a medical grade disinfectant that we will be using throughout the day we have cleaning stations that are set up just throughout the entire destination that will encourage members to clean their equipment before use, after use. Um, we've changed our operating hours to allow us time to clean the club overnight. We have changed the way that we now allow members to participate in our group fitness programs. They now reserve the spot. So we know exactly how many people will be inside of the room and we will set up the equipment We've put in 30 minute blocks to allow us time to disinfect the equipment as well. So we put in a lot of safety measures. We're ready. Is there anything that you want members or people who are going into any gym setting to really keep in mind? I know like at the yoga studio where I teach, we've asked people like, look, don't bring in all your bags and your purses. If you can change at home, change at home to avoid having to do that uh, in our space. What are you guys suggesting to people? Yeah, the exact same. Number one, if you feel sick, please do stay home. Number two, we're just asking that you adhere to all the state orders, right? Um, we're here to continue to provide just a safe, a clean environment. Uh, but we also understand that it is a social environment. So the number one thing that we know that we're going to have to continue to enforce is just the social distancing aspect. So if you can leave your personal belongings at home, we're asking you to do so. Okay, Keisha, thank you so much. We look forward to hearing how things go at Lifetime. We appreciate it.